Hey, how's it going folks? ET here with another tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to do a basic audio editing tutorial using DaVinci Resolve and we're on version 15. Okay, so we have DaVinci Resolve open. We have a couple videos, one image and one music file. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is actually drag some video and audio into the timeline. We'll grab this first clip here, left click, hold and drag it and just drop it wherever. And we're going to go ahead and grab this other one too as well. Drag that and put it next to it. Next, we have some music here. We're going to go ahead and actually, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to left click and drag into the timeline below the clips that are already here. There we go. Okay, from here, let's start simple. But what I'm going to do is actually make it so you can see it a little bit better. So let's reduce the size of some things here. And we're going to increase the size of some things here. These audio tracks, we're going to make them bigger so you can actually see them. And the video, we don't need as much, so we'll make that smaller. All right. So the first tool I want to show you is right in the middle of the audio files, you see there's a line. If you hover your mouse over it, you get these up and down arrows here. You left click and hold. You can bring that audio up and you can bring that audio down. So that's one way. Let's go back to our zero point here, or close as we can get to it. Okay, the second thing I want to show you is how to fade in and out. So in the corner of each audio, you see a little tool here. You can left click and hold and drag that and you'll get your little fade. Right now it's just very angular, but there's also a point here that you can actually control the curve. So you can go in, out, you can kind of make it, you know, do the hula dance if you want. So basically get that kind of sound that you want for your transition in on the audio. Okay. And the same for the outro part too. So if you need it to be a little bit less harsh or you can make it, you know, more harsh, but it gives you the ability to kind of customize where it comes in and where it comes out at what level. Again, this is a basics tutorial. So we're going to go from easy to a little bit more difficult. So we've gotten two things done now. We can control the volume up and down and we can control fade in, fade out. So if you want to do simple editing of audio, you want to just remove a chunk of it. It's just like editing audio, but let me lower the volume of this music down here. So it's not so loud. There we go. So you just move your scrubber or your tape head to exactly where you want it. And then you hit that razor tool and you cut it, then you go back to your arrow, you click on it, and you can individually control this audio, or you can actually delete it completely. Well, let's go ahead and undo that and bring it back to normal. So if you wanted to cut sections out or reduce sections, an easy way is just to use the cutting tool, the razor tool here, and just cut each section. So let me do multiple here. So I'll cut here, cut here, cut here, cut here. And then go back to your pointer tool. And from here you can raise, lower, or even delete sections. Go to the next one, raise, lower. Let's put one more cut here. And you, you know, it can go up, down, middle, anywhere you need to be. And again, you'll still have the fade on each of the clips there. So each clip will have the ability to fade. If you need to see more, you can actually hit the plus right over here. And that way you can uh, get a, a bigger picture of actually what's happening. Okay. So you can do that. Again, you can make it a little bit gradual or more abrupt with this little hula dancer thing here. <laughs> this little tool here. Okay. So let me go ahead and undo all that stuff I just did. Control Z until it's back to normal. Okay. So the next functionality is actually using keyframes to actually lower and raise certain areas of the audio. And the way you'll do that is to hold the Alt key and then click on this line in the middle. So let me demonstrate here. I'm holding the Alt key. I'm clicking. I'm adding keyframes. Okay, so I added four, two before, two after. And now I can actually control this point here. And you can move the keyframes in or out depending on where you need them to be. And this gives you that fine level of control. And I can add some more here that you might need. 
So for example, if you wanted to get rid of a cough, um, and let's just imagine this, this peak here was a cough. So I would put two before, two after, and then I could drop that down completely. Or you could slice here, slice there, and just delete it completely. But if you want to kind of maintain the integrity of the audio clip itself, uh, you might want to do it this way. Also, sometimes when you're speaking lower or too loudly, you might want to do that as well. Hitting a point, a couple points before, a couple points after, and then moving it up or moving it down just a little bit. And sometimes when I record, I'll notice there's some background sound in my room. You know, that, that the hum or just the, the, the white noise in the background. I won't completely delete it, but what I'll do is actually, I'll put a couple before and a couple after, and then I'll drop that volume down just enough so it's lower than normal, but it's not completely silent. So if you're listening on headphones, you don't hear noise, no noise, noise, no noise. You'll just hear a little bit less in the background. So that's basically it for this basic audio editing tutorial in DaVinci Resolve version 15. I wanna thank everybody for watching, and don't forget as always, hit that subscribe. We need to get those numbers up, and we'll talk to you next time. Peace and aloha.